Boreham Woods, one, Barnet, one, Dean. Happy New Year. What's your assessment of that? Yeah, likewise to you. Um, so a lot of character, a lot of grit. That's a lot of questions of us. Uh, they started better than us. Uh, we have to thank our goalkeeper for several saves. Um, and then we showed a lot of character second half. We were very lucky to get in 1-0 down at half time, to be fair. Um, but we showed a lot of character second half. And I spoke to the players about how we get back in the game. And, and we managed to get back in the game. And we had some good chances with goal disallowed. They probably had a goal disallowed as well. It was a free kick given the other way. But to be fair to them, the nine's a handful. He's one of the one of the better strikers in the division and he made a big difference to their performance but from our point of view we're happy with the point. It was a tough affair and we did start a little bit slower than we may have seen in previous games. What do you put that down to? They just asked a lot of questions of us. They won a lot of second balls in midfield. Uh, they dropped a lot of balls over a high line. Um, yeah, so look, that, like I say, that, that's going to happen sometimes. So we just come up with the answers in the end. It was important we didn't get beat here today. So to take four points over the Christmas period is, is uh, huge for us. We conceded in that first half. Danny was a little bit unfortunate. Great save from Laurie and then kind of a weird uh, shot and that nestled into our net. What was your assessment of their goal? Individual error from Dan. Um, that's, that's the way it goes. Laurie makes a great save and to be fair, unbelievable finish by the kid. Uh, he's looped it into the far corner. What a goal to be fair to them. So it was coming. Look, they were stronger than us. Um, we had to change our formation, had to tweak things, so um, look, they're a good side, Borland Wood. They've been around this division for a long time, so like I say, for us to take four points off them this year is brilliant. And in that second half, you wanted to see reaction. Are you happy that you saw that in that uh, first 15 minutes of the second half? Yeah, yeah, we hit the post early, didn't we? Straight away. Uh, started on the front foot, asked a lot of questions, um, and all, I thought he's got a fantastic goal, to be fair. All in all, like I say, it's important we don't get beat. And um, when you come to places like this, not many, not many teams come here and win. So uh, for those, a point we respect that. Let's talk about personnel. Gorman and Woods came off for Armstrong and Hall. What was your reasoning for that? Just I felt the game was stretched and Hall he can, has that goal, he can open up the game. Gormo's been out ill. Um, he's been out ill for sort of three weeks now. Um, so 60 minutes was enough for him. And Armstrong can give you that athleticism and he runs the goal. He nearly scored with a great cross from Hawley on the far side. That's what he does well. Um, so that were the main reasons for that. And we were one nil down as well. So Woodsy's a defensive player. So I'd get him off and sort of get Pritchard on the ball deep in midfield. That was the, that was the main thinking behind that. Bonnet fans have been screaming out for a new strike for ages. David Moyo signed for us last week, came straight in, made his debut. What was your assessment of that? Yeah, I thought he walked his socks off. He ran, his, he ran himself into the ground for the team. Um, didn't really have many chances or opportunities. Like we hung up the far post. I think he could have got across his man. But I know David. I've walked him before. He's an athletic boy. He's quick. He's strong. And um, we just got to do sort of what we did with Nicky and sort of get him to see numbers so he can he can penetrate the opposition better. But I thought it was a decent debut in a really tough game. Talking about Nicky, any update there? Yeah, Nicky, great news. He's a one-match ban. It's been uh, it's been uh, demoted down from a three-match to a one-match ban, which is great news. So we need Nicky back. He's our main goal scorer. He's our main man. So uh, to come here without him as well, that was, that makes it even sweeter. Point. Absolutely. We're going ahead next week. We've got no Tuesday match, so um, we go to Gateshead. Gateshead come to us on Saturday. What are you going to be looking at? What are you going to be hoping to improve from today's performance to Saturday? Yes. Look, it's the winter months. Sometimes you just got to be gritty and win ugly. And uh, that's how we sort of won in the, won the last game against Boreham here at Air Place. It was gritty, it was ugly, there was red cards, there was incidents. So, again, today we've managed to grind out a point. It ain't pretty time football, it's, you know, this is proper English football. So you've got to dig deep, you've got to play in a way, show character. That's what we'll be looking for. We want to play better, we always want to improve in our performance. And to be honest, too many of our players are probably off their game, the standards they set themselves today. But that's a good sign, you know, players haven't played well, good sign for the team. And uh, we still managed to come away and not get beat. And finally, we had 998 Barnet fans here today. Unbelievable support, really fantastic. What's your message to them? Well, I want to wish them all a happy new year and uh, I want to thank them for their positive support. It's unbelievable, really, how we transformed the football club over the last 16, 17 months. So, yeah, from our point of view, we're absolutely buzzing with them and uh, that collectiveness is there, that togetherness is there. And they, they roared us home today at times, you know, they really picked us up in the second half when we hit the post and that. So, but it is important as a team we give them something to sing about and that's what we've done today. Dean, thank you for your time.